Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico. And if you're new to the channel, we ask one question right here, which is, do they write them and sing them like they used to? A lot of people, young, old, they think the old music is better, but I am not so sure. And today, one of our subscribers, Will Akers, let me know that there was some new Godspeed You Black Emperor. And he gave me a couple links. Uh, I'll show you his note here. Uh, yeah, there's a full suite, and then there's a single. So I'm just going to hit up the seven-minute single. And uh, hit that like or subscribe button before I forget. Let me mention that. It really helps. It helps uh, grow the channel, build content, uh, maybe even uh, put a little more money into the channel, which right now still operates in the red. But uh, I'll improve the content if I can, if that's the direction it goes. Uh, I've got a Patreon link below, too. You can uh, check that out if you wish. And anyway, I just looked on uh, Stereo Gum uh, to see what they said about this. I tried to look at Rolling Stone, but they said I got to subscribe now. So, yeah, no free lunch, right? But Stereo Gum is still free. And they said this is sinister and that the album is about the Mideast crisis, or at least the title comes from that and there's hints of uh the state of the world in this so yeah i'm looking forward to it um my picture's a lot bigger than the one on the on your right here sorry about that you're gonna have to see a big me in a little video but this is square instead of rectangular uh let's go ahead and hit it up and i'm anxious to hear this seven minutes long I don't know why it's called Grey Rebel Gr Green Shoots. I couldn't find any information on that, but let's go ahead and listen to it.
That it? That went by fast. That did not feel like seven minutes. Yeah, a lot to say on this. Uh, so start slow with that intense buildup. A lot of uh, keyboard in there. Uh, and all of a sudden, you know, about uh, somewhere between the third and halfway mark, it just drops the breakdown and it goes into this like slow core movement. Reminds me of the band Low. Um, yeah, it starts off. Uh, it's so nice when the bass drops in and then the cymbal work and then those toms you could really hear. And it, it was really nice. And the recording, I love the recording. Uh, when the break happened, I could hear the fingers scraping on the strings, and I could hear um, some, maybe some feet or sticks rubbing against the side of the drums. They left all of what would have used to have been considered mistakes. But now there's more of an ambient approach to recording. So I liked it a lot. But uh, yeah, the highlight of that was uh, that beautiful guitar. Uh, it kind of shifted then. It was, I'm not a musician, but it sounded to me like it was all minor chords in the beginning. And then the break came in, and then came some major chords. Uh, but then it sounded like it would go a little minor and back to major and then the violin comes in i was waiting for that because the keyboards were kind of serving for the uh well you know the beginning you had that um let's talk about the beginning because it's very interesting because it reminded me of classical music because there's this bum 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 but it was on the keyboard but it resembled uh some things they do with string sections um uh, kind of a it, you know kind of a motif just repeating and then the keyboard came in and the bass and the drums and they were doing this uh, these uh, descending parts and then bring it back up and then descend again and bring it back up and descend again and all of that reminded me of a lot of classical music that I've listened to uh, mostly 20th century but 19th century too uh, really cool. And like I say, then the slow core movement came in. It was very major. And in comes the violin, which came in after uh, the guitar had a chance to play for a bit. And there was some kind of tremolo effect or something on the violin. And then it was guitar in the left channel and violin in the right channel. And they were doing kind of a, um, a dual melodies. It was really nice, and then it just ended quietly. So there was this intensity followed by this intense beauty. So, yeah, for a Sinister track, it had a section that was just really gorgeous, especially especially the guitar. I think that was the standout. So, um, yeah, I, I loved it. I loved it. It was, um, I don't know what else to say about it. Uh, they're always very inventive, but like I say, influenced by classical music and uh, influenced by slowcore, I think. That's what I heard. Let me know what you think. And uh, I usually rate everything, so I'm going to give this an A. I think it's fantastic. Um, and yeah, let's wrap it up. As they say here in Bonita, Mexico, buen dia. <laughs>